Pendy versus Kuro Usagi gonna be coming at you on Jules Vale Maverick versus Kumaki. Should Maverick be a fun matchup. Pretty consistent. Like I've seen Maverick since the beginning when he came out. He's never really fell out of it. it kind of reminds me of similar to a suitcase situation. Just kind of a fan favorite, really liked character. What are your thoughts on them? Oh, definitely a staple for sure. Like, uh, the reason I actually started uh, getting more interested in Workshop uh, was because at uh, the last Riptide for the Monkey Business Bracket, uh, SBS actually had us play Maverick in Grands instead of Hold On. Uh, and that was a kind of a good introduction, getting to play some of the Maverick Ditto in that way. It's definitely a very fun character. But speaking of the set at hand, we've got a lot of back and forth right now. Both players racking up the damage. Kurosagi doing a little bit better at it, though. Down strong after the parry will be able to take the first stock of the, of the set. Kurosagi's in a pretty good position right now. Their plus meters are already coming up. They haven't quite gotten a disadvantage. Uh, Tendi's kind of having a little bit of trouble getting out of it, and then right now the Gog is up. Nice Oki situation coming in, forcing 70%, still hasn't lost a stock yet. Yeah, Kurosagi is doing such a great job at putting the pressure on right now. We'll see, She, yeah, she's able to sneak her way back on stage, able to get yet another stock, this time with the Ford Strong still holding strong onto her first stock. Oh, Ooh, as I say, that commentator's, commentator's curse. curse. Yep. Never gone. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter that it's replays. Commentator's curse always comes in clutch. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but I'll say right now, Teddy's just having a lot of trouble getting past this side. There's a lot of situations where they're trying to throw out an option to challenge, but they're either doing it too early or isn't just the quite thought right option. Plus Gage coming right back. Oh my god, could it be off the top? No. Green setting up another Oki situation. Oh, comboing using the NATO. Oh, almost <laughs> Yeah, almost getting the combo off of Tendi's own NATO. The plus meter finally wearing off though, and Tendi able to get back on stage, but not without being swatted right back off. Uh, I mean, even then, coming back at 160, as it is a death sentence, right there it is, the F-Strong. Oh. Yeah, Kurosagi doing such a great job at catching out the landing of Tendi, spending just a little bit too much time in the air, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Maverick is an air character, but with how ready Kurosagi is to just catch your landing, Looking a little rough. We'll see what Tendi can do, though, on his counter pick of Rockwall. Definitely a staple pick for Tendi and Maverick players of the like. You know, love those small blast zones to make your setups kill all the earlier. Exactly. I will say this much right now. Tendi looks a lot more comfortable. They're setting up a little corner option where they like. Nice. They're not, they're not giving up center stage, which was the issue last game. Uh, the one thing Kenny, I think, does have to change, though, is their option of when approaching. They're not mixing up their timings enough. So a lot of these parries that are getting them and leading them into these negative situations, like right now, is because of that. Yeah, able to get the early percent on in this game, where, as opposed oh. to the first game. And getting oh, an edge card situation, one? the cargo another throws oh. almost getting the kill with the fair. Not quite going to be able to do it, though, but... We'll be oh, able no, to get another one. <laughs> Someone oh. trying to help this monkey <laughs> is doing work. Just triple command grab into just walk to the corner. Tandy looking confident out here. Yeah, just walks her over there and tosses her right into the blast zone. Looking strong. And Kurosagi narrowly not getting the combo off of Tendi's own NATO once again. Tendi still holding on to his first stock. Gets the landing, but... Just barely with the fair. Not gonna be able to do it, but the up air catches out the landing once again, and we're in, at an even stock game after all this momentum that Tendi was seemingly had. This could be anyone's game, mainly because the way Tendi the way Tendi's been playing is like they get they can hold advantage really well, but they're very easy to just give up center. And it's costing them a lot. Like, like right now, they have to fight to recover. While Bree has just been working really well over here. Nice juggling. Oh, back to positive. Ooh. Oh, that's it. Go. Oh, not quite, but we'll see. Can Tendi come back? Ten 
Yeah, he will, but no. not without getting swatted right back off. Kurosagi is there with the forward strong to make sure to reverse this lead into her favor. Now, definitely doing a great job at adapting to the way that Tendi is playing on this stage. But you still have to be so careful. The back air into the giant punch killing so early and we're back to even stocks once again like you were saying it's anybody's oh, game mix up on timing tendy having a little bit of trouble putting a lot of pressure they almost got positive gauge for this already over half nope just as i say tendy fighting back center stage is gone they're being juggled can they fight back positive gauge about to come oh, out barely was oh there it is here but there it is yeah so that's what they have to be careful right now they are in death's door any strong hit any good situation they have to just respect it you have to respect it you can't push there's oh. a berry! That it? Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, that's it. Kurosagi adapting so quickly to what Tendi wanted to do there and getting the punishment, uh, getting the game going up 2-0 now against Tendi after the strong start he had at the start of the game. He's running it right back though. Feels like it, he let it slip from his hands. Still wants the rock wall. We'll see how it goes. This could also just be another situation where this is his home stage and he kind of needs any momentum to be gathered here before he goes back. Yeah, could be. We'll see. But Kurosagi off a to lot a of strong good. start. Yeah, able to get some good juggles. Surprise. Like with a matchup like this, it seems very difficult for Mavericks to find a good entrance because range is not their best friend. Like they have some good options that are, that are not disjointed, but rather just well ranged. But for example, with the character they're fighting against, I don't know, having a scythe and just throwing your fist at it doesn't seem like the smart option. Yeah, those disjointed options coming in a clutch for Kurosagi in this set so far. And Tendi still struggling to try to get more than just a hit or two at a time in at a very high percent, almost dying to fair off the other side of the stage. He's gonna be able to make his way back though, but another hit just like that and your stock is gone. Have to be so careful. I was kind of surprised because Tendi is starting to adapt to the situation when uh, they have plus gauge. There it is coming oh. in there, nice and firm. Mainly because the last plus gauge that they got was the first time that they weren't actually killed off of it. And rather play very well, keeping away, keeping themselves away and getting strong hits when they can, just to lower the amount of time they can. Oh, Teddy's taking trouble with the NATO coming in. Having a lot of trouble right now. They can't quite land a hit. Yeah, the... Uh, Kumaki seemingly suffering from a bit of Marthritis there, uh, getting the combo tools, but uh, the combo tool knocking Tendi so high up that he couldn't quite get uh, the killing blow. Finally gets it with the parry into the down strong. And now fighting her way back is Kurosagi. Tendi though, getting a bit of something started with the up special though. Oh, right now, this still could be anyone's game. 50 to 70%, not a lot of difference. But Tendi right now, having to find a way to land. Oh, that was a bad strong coming in. Oh, here we go. Following the combo. Not enough, just quite yet. Sending up another NATO. In the grab. NATO, purpling. Tendi holding that advantage at a good 65% right now. They can get some good extra credit here. But as soon as I say that, they start taking 20. Yeah, and Kurosagi definitely not trying to let Tendi get any much of any momentum here trying her best to secure the second stock to keep this game as even as she can almost getting the plus meter oh, no. but Tendi is fighting back and now you're off stage she's starting to get a little bit too anxious she's starting to throw strong attacks out without actually being in a situation where they can hit anything and just Tendi can wait Hopefully, yeah. like, they can get the nerves calmed down just a little bit to see what happens next, so they can secure the 3-0. It would be a real shame if something did happen. Yeah, we'll see. Tendi kind of running away and making Kuroosagi be the one to approach now and still holding on to that second stock at such a high percent despite the stage and has the plus meter now we'll see if she can net this into the stock forward air not gonna do it still has a bit of meter though not quite gonna be able to oh. land but tendy's not gonna quite be able to land back on stage getting caught with the forward strong from kurosagi still anybody's game we've seen how much momentum kumaki oh. can run but kurosagi not ready for the forward tilt maybe trying to go for like an omsa tech there maybe just expecting a down tilt and trying to get away from the combo but 
Tandy Maybe? able to get on the board. Here's the actual scary thing though. Tandy may have won that round in his 2-1, but Tandy now no longer gets his counter pick. He has to play off of what works for them, and seeing where we're going right now, they're not going to like having the ability to not land. Yeah, going in to the Endless Abyss, the practice mode variant we are, and also the color swap for Kurosagi. This is our Ultra Instinct moment. This right here, this, this is it. Like, they change colors, it's over. This is the, you know, I don't lose anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. We'll have to see what they bring to the table. Uh, both these players oh, getting a oh, parry oh, off of the jab oh, and getting oh. the juggles. Almost has the plus up. meter. Let's go. Oh, no, Maverick fighting back right now. 100% to 60. Still a little bit of a deficit. Maverick. Oh, a little bit of more threat is just like we were talking about earlier. They're having a little bit of trouble just landing an option. Tendi not quite getting the correct corner option. Ooh, nice punch coming in. Yeah, but the punch not quite going to be oh, able no. to kill. And oh, yeah. not quite going to be able to get the setup he was looking for. Gives Kurosagi another lease at life here. And we'll see. Ooh, oh, but Tendi up. getting the parry this time. Throwing her off stage. Gets another cargo throw, throwing her right Almost back off hit. until the giant punch is there. Somebody needs to get the zookeepers out here. This monkey is grabbing and moving to the corner, but sadly <laughs> was not enough. Yeah, Kurosagi just slipping past and getting oh, no, the up in again. the up air. Cargo throw not gonna kill quite yet, but gets another one. Kurosagi still not gonna be able to make it back, but is able to get back that time going for the high recovery and has ooh, the plus ooh, meter. Ooh, 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 a little bit more. Come on. Oh, one for the money. No, they couldn't continue oh. it. But 100% is nothing to scoff at, specifically when you already have a stock over them. Oh, but the four tilt coming in clutch for Tendi once again, finally able to secure there we go. that first stock, but still at such a high percent on his own second stock. We'll have to see if he can get something started here. But Kurosagi's like just running away with the momentum right now, not letting Tendi get a single hit in as I say that, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part of commentating. I will say, <laughs> Tendi has gotten really good on survivability, especially on a stage. But they can't land anywhere nice purple coming in and right as I said that they die But as I was saying like they have a lot of really good options when it comes to recovery They're trying to fight back a little bit more smart They're not throwing out options as much which is good because I'd rather do nothing at all And then wait to react and then do something early and get punished for it. Oh double command grab this is the third command grab though, not quite going to be able to get the sequence he was looking for and Kuro Asagi okay. almost has that plus okay. meter, there it okay. is. Let's see it, let's see it, ooh, ooh, can they, can, can they actually finish it, can they finish it, ooh, one more. Oh no, oh, no. Tandy's up being barely a little clipping. too close. Tandy haven't seen a lot of resources off stage, nice delay here going for the bear. Yeah, and just trying to find a way in, out. monkey grab. Ooh, this could be yeah, there game we right go. Here. Giant punch coming in clutch. Yeah, all it will take is one good combo from Tendi to get some momentum here, but not That's quite going to be able to land once again. Kuro Asagi taking the set three to one over Tendi, doing such a great job throughout the set at covering Tendi's landing options. It's really kind of what cost him uh the set and kudo asagi gonna move on to winners finals because of it get a shot against bendy jw's deora it'll be exciting to see